Sepsis is the number one cause of inpatient um, serious illness and actually mortality, so death. Um, and the majority of patients with sepsis will present through emergency department. So um, we generally, I can tell you um, more numbers now because we have an electronic screen. Um, we screen about five children a day for sepsis, but we probably see sepsis once or twice a week. It's a condition we don't often hear much about, and that was the problem. Sepsis, or the dysregulated response on the immune system and vital organs to infection. Now Hasbro Children's Hospital is taking the lead with a new initiative to help save children's lives and teach parents and the community the early warning signs of sepsis. We've started to filter out to the community because I think ultimately you can teach a children's hospital, but the majority of children are seen in an outpatient mm -hmm. setting and the majority of low risk uh, patients who potentially have sepsis are going to be seen first in either a community emergency department, an urgent care center, or a primary care office, or at home. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are, with the help of a grant through the Gianna Sorella Foundation, we are developing an educational toolkit to roll out into the community. That will include videos about how to screen for sepsis. We're going to give them all of the tools that we're developing here to, um, to the community emergency departments in Rhode Island and urgent care centers, uh, to provide education for doctor's offices. And uh, so we are, this is a big community effort uh, that we are campaign that a large group of people are really responsible for. We'll show you the early warning signs and who is most at risk in this report.